What do you think Elon Musk's warning about Tesla stock for 2023 is going to be? Due to Musk's recent controversies, mainly because of his recent Twitter takeover, many investors are starting to lose trust in Tesla. Still, some believe that Tesla will continue to thrive amidst Musk's seeming Twitter distraction. You would not want to miss this. It's blowing my mind that the Fed has raised rates so high. The economy right now is like a car driving around on a cliffside road and the Fed is driving it by looking at a video taken of the rearview mirror that's three months old. This is not a good way to drive a car on a windy cliff road. I think we're in for a hard landing. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said in a recent interview, Musk continued to explain that the thing to appreciate about interest rate increases is the double whammy effect. He said that higher interest rates will reduce the profitability of any company selling something dependent on the price of debt. According to him, cars are bought with leases and loans, so people look at their monthly payment and that is basically a demand issue with higher interest rates, which then reduces profitability. That said, the valuation of all equities drops with the increase in the real interest rate. Since the vast majority of cars are bought on credit, a high real interest rate is like increasing the price of the car. In order to keep demand consistent, you would have to therefore decrease the price of the car, and if you want to increase demand, you have to decrease the price of the car further," Musk explained. Still, Elon Musk says his companies will be fine in 2023 as he brushes off reports of Twitter bankruptcy. Musk, who now heads five companies including Tesla and Twitter, said in a tweet in mid-November that his companies will be well-positioned in 2023 despite the possibility of a tough economy. Musk's tweet came a day after he raised the possibility of Twitter going bankrupt. In his first company-wide email, Musk warned that Twitter would not be able to survive the upcoming economic downturn if it fails to boost subscription revenue to offset falling advertising income, three people who have seen the message told Reuters. Twitter currently has $13 billion, 12.6 billion euros in debt, and faces interest payments totaling close to $1.2 billion, 1.1 billion euros in the next 12 months. The payments exceed the company's most recent disclosed cash flow, which amounted to $1.1 billion, just over 1 billion euros as of the end of June. Meanwhile, the electric car maker Tesla added to its inventory in Shanghai, China, at its fastest pace ever in October. Tesla, which counts China as a key market and production base, operates a factory in Shanghai that accounted for about half of its global deliveries last year. In October, Tesla produced 87,706 Model 3s and Model Ys in Shanghai but delivered 71,704 vehicles, leaving a gap of 16,002 China-made cars in inventory, according to data from China Merchants Bank International CMBI. In a bid to boost sales, Tesla reduced prices for its Model 3 and Model Y cars in China and also offered an additional rebate for buyers who take delivery in November and buy insurance from one of its partners. Musk previously told analysts that demand was strong in the quarter and he expected Tesla to be recession resilient. From a long-term standpoint, there's a natural economic cycle that happens and frankly, we're overdue for a recession. It's shocking that we haven't had a serious recession in any meaningful sense of the word since 2009," Musk said in a recent interview. He continued to add that if the U.S. does have another 2009 situation, the stock prices of everything are going to be lower. He said that things that are bought with debt, basically housing and cars, are going to be the two biggest and are really going to get disproportionately impacted. If you're a ship in the storm, even if you have a really great ship, you're still going to get bashed by the storm," Musk said. In October, Musk said, a global recession could last until the spring of 2024. In a Twitter exchange, the mercurial electric car executive and the world's richest man said a recession could continue until spring of 24. The remarks came in response to a tweet from Shibatoshi Nakamoto, the online name for Dogecoin co-creator Billy Marcus, who noted that current coronavirus numbers are actually pretty low. Guess all we have to worry about now is the impending global recession and nuclear apocalypse. It sure would be nice to have one year without a horrible global event," Musk replied. Tesla owner Silicon Valley, a Twitter account with nearly 600,000 followers, then asked Musk how long he thought the recession would last, to which he replied, just guessing but probably until spring of 24. 
Musk also expressed more confidence in the U.S. economy than in other parts of the world. He also noted the impact that interest rate increases are having on the economy. The U.S. actually is in North America's in pretty good health, he said. A little bit of that is raising interest rates more than they should, but I think they'll eventually realize that and bring them back down, I think. Meanwhile, after shares of Tesla dipped by more than 10% in late December, deepening a year-long sell-off, CEO Elon Musk told employees not to be too bothered by stock market craziness. Musk circulated the comments in a company-wide email, which CNBC obtained. He told staffers that Tesla needs to demonstrate continued excellent performance and that, long term, I believe very much that Tesla will be the most valuable company on Earth. Musk has blamed Tesla's declining share price in part on rising interest rates, but critics point to his Twitter takeover as a bigger culprit for the slide, which has wiped out about $675 billion in market cap this year as of Wednesday's close. In the email, Musk thanked Tesla employees for their work in 2022, encouraged them to push hard for a strong fourth quarter finish, and asked them to volunteer to help deliver cars to customers before midnight on December 31st, if at all possible. During the last days of most quarters, Tesla enlists employees from all over the company to bring new cars to customers in order to hit or exceed stated delivery goals, work that in normal times is limited to people on the sales and delivery teams. The company has been aiming for 50% year-over-year growth in vehicle deliveries, but has cautioned investors it may not meet that target every year. Musk's attention has been focused on Twitter of late. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO sold tens of billions of dollars worth of shares in his electric vehicle company in 2022 to finance the $44 billion buyout of the social media company. In the latter part of the said email, Musk said, By the way, don't be too bothered by stock market craziness. As we demonstrate continued excellent performance, the market will recognize that. Long term, I believe very much that Tesla will be the most valuable company on Earth. In a recent interview, Musk said that when there's extreme panic in the markets, things can go to ridiculous levels. Avoid buying stocks on margin and just avoid margin debt, because you just don't know if there's going to be some panicky situation in the stock market, he said. He also talked about how he thinks the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, will be buying Tesla shares in 2023. I suspect Warren Buffett is going to be buying a lot of stock next year if the company has very strong fundamentals, but then the market is in some short-term panic situation, obviously that's the right time to buy stock," said Musk. Although Tesla has had a terrible year, experts believe that Musk can make 2023 better. Tesla shares are down 65% for the year compared to the S&P 500's 19% decline. Tesla's main troubles are twofold, writes analyst Dan Ives of Wedbush. Musk is viewed as asleep at the wheel from a leadership perspective for Tesla at the time investors need a CEO to navigate this Category 5 storm, which includes macro headwinds in both the US and China and rising electric vehicle competition. Still, Ives says Musk can make things right with 10 easy steps. Name a CEO of Twitter by the end of January, Ives advised, adding, Musk is the heart and lungs of Tesla and vice versa. Musk's very public $44 billion takeover of Twitter, which almost didn't happen, has been driven by his zest to make the social media platform truly a free speech community. Ives also warned about Tesla's equity, stop selling stock, and no more Boy That Cried Wolf or Pinocchio situation, he said. Formally adopt a 10B51 plan so investors know there is no major selling block around the corner. Musk sold $40 billion of Tesla stock last year, spooking investors. Ives says a major stock buyback would go a long way to improve the street's confidence. However, outside of Musk's control is the global economic slowdown. Given that Ives believes Tesla goals are too ambitious, he'd like to see a more dialed-down outlook. Lay out conservative 2023 delivery and targets given the darker macro. The 50% growth target is not happening in our opinion, with 35% delivery growth a more hittable and realistic goal for 2023. Subscribe to this channel for more.